know, like any other business, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that the public never sees, like seeking sponsorship. But this one for Phoenix International Raceway was truly a match made in NASCAR heaven, and I'm talking about Three Amigos Tequila. Tres Amigos Tequila is, is, uh, is part of us, okay? We are farmers by heart. God gave us this gift, we are farmers, okay? We do a lot of other stuff, but farming is our main business, and it's a beautiful business, and when you love what you do, you do it right. Beer is, is king, but um, uh, tequila is the hottest uh, category of spirits in the U.S. right now. And there's a whole bunch of people that drink margaritas and drink tequila. We just felt like with our audience and the, uh, the events that we host at PIR, outdoor events, the weather's great, it really lent itself well to enjoying margaritas. We searched and we searched all over the country, talked to a variety of different uh, potential sponsors, and it turned out that our perfect match was in town all along, and it was Three Amigos, uh, the brand that was founded here in the Valley by the Gonzalez family. It's a cool brand, great story, local story, awesome liquid, great family, um, lacked the resources to kind of scale and grow the business at a, at a national level. And so it was a great um, opportunity to bring them into the platform. And uh, the rest is history, as they say. Brian has been absolutely amazing. He, he's a first-class act. Uh, we, we, love, we love the partnership with him. NASCAR is, uh, is probably the biggest sport in the world, the most followed sport in the world. Uh, that alone for our, for our company is, is huge. It's like a dream come true. Well, it was a dream come true for Three Amigos Tequila to be able to become involved with NASCAR. But dreams come true for fans when they get a chance to meet drivers up close and personal. And that's exactly what Ryan Newman did when he visited the Army Reserves. From my standpoint, I, I've had great sponsors in the past and representing products is, is really cool, but representing people is an absolute honor when it comes to a branch of the military like the U.S. Army. So. I'm, I'm very proud to have the U.S. Army across my chest and think about past, present, and future, all the things that they've done, sacrifices they've made, changes they've made in their lives just to give us this free country and go out and enjoy a NASCAR race. And it's always great when I'm there at the track and I'm there for every race, looking up and seeing the section where they've just given tickets to military families so they can enjoy the race. It's just a way that, again, PIR can support our military and in particular the U.S. Army National Guard. And we do our best to remember them. And Veterans Day is a special special race for us, having the U.S. Army across my chest. And uh, we've got uh, a paint scheme that's set up of all little pictures of uh, U.S. Army families and, and uh, you know things that make uh, make a difference to them, hopefully. Uh, just to, Again, it's another small way of us saying thank you, and we appreciate it, but uh, you're not forgotten. To see him on, on some of these national sports programs, first thing he says when he's interviewed is how proud he is to be able to represent our military generally and specifically the Army Guard by driving the 39 car sponsored by the Army Guard. It's just great to hear him say that. You know that that has an, an impact with NASCAR fans all over the country. The primary reason why I came today was he's, uh, you know, he's a very strong advocate for supporting all our troops and, and providing the opportunity for us to participate in the biggest sport in the United States of America. Uh, we've been searching for that first victory for the U.S. Army and uh, we've, we've got them in the victory lane but not with their name on the car. So we want to do that and obviously Veterans Day would be really special. Getting back in victory lane in the racetrack that we won at earlier this year would, would, would also be special.